Hi, so it has been about a month since my last video, so I figured why not make another one? Um, a lot has been going on. I am in my car right now, so this is a first. I don't think I've ever did a video in my car. Let me see if I open this, if it gets a little brighter. Hopefully that works. Um, or maybe not. Okay, maybe it does. So, yeah, my hair is growing like crazy. These curls are nuts. I'm rocking my afro. Um, things have been extremely busy. I feel like I wish I had a pause button for life. Um, as some of you, if you've watched my other videos, I'm getting married. So, you can imagine planning a wedding, what that's like. And... I started a new job. I left my old job, which was at a hair color manufacturing plant. I was there for seven years, and I thought it would be a good idea to find a new job in the middle of treatment. Um, and it was a great idea because I got myself out of a toxic situation. However, it has been extremely difficult to just manage. Like, I'm exhausted all the time. I'm so tired. I went through chemo radiation. I'm still in Herceptin, so I have three Herceptins left. Uh, Thursday is my third to last one. And um, yeah, so you can imagine it's difficult in general to start a job, but I've decided to start it while in treatment. And, uh, and then life, everything else that goes with it. So really what I want to talk about today is the aftermath and what that's like and you know every day I feel better and better I train sorry I had to swipe up so if it like blurred out I got a text message but I'm training with a personal trainer I'm part of a um, cancer wellness program at the local gym that's part of the hospital and um, that's been great I'm getting stronger I feel good I'm not losing weight um, but I feel good. I'm getting stronger. My my energy is better, but I'm still very tired. And I think that that truly is from, I mean, Herceptin causes fatigue, but I think the tiredness is mentally and emotionally exhausted. So I trucked through treatment. I was so good. I was positive. I felt confidence I, in, in what I was doing. I... Um, really now looking back, I was on like autopilot. There was no option for me, but just to do it and go through it. Um, and now it's like everything slowed down in the sense of like treatment. So it's like, I'm thinking back of what I just went through and what, you know, everyone thinks it's over. You're done with chemo and radiation. Oh, you're good. You're fine. It's over. I had my six month scans. Those came back clear, which is amazing. But no one truly understands the trauma of going through this. And my goal is to not have PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. I think that's what it stands for. But basically when you go through something, how um, that affects you afterward. And I'm my goal is to not have that. Um, I spoke to my holistic doctor about it and he suggested that I get a life coach. My traditional doctor prescribed me Xanax and I'm getting more medical marijuana. My goal is to not rely on Xanax when I have anxiety because I've been not sleeping well and I've been waking up feeling like, like you know that feeling when someone's sitting on your chest and you're just, you're going to lose it. Um, that is a very normal feeling right now and it's just about navigating through that and navigating the emotions, the fear. Um, my doctor told me I'm playing with fire because I'm not taking tamoxifen and I'm also not in birth control right now. So um, I can't take birth control, just I never was able to take it. It just, my body does not like it. So um, yeah, so that's fine and I'll figure it out but emotionally it has been extremely difficult to navigate I have to back up because somebody has to leave their their parking spot and I'm like in the middle of the parking lot 
Um, it's just been difficult to navigate. Thank God for backup cameras. Uh, emotionally and mentally and also relationship, how that affects your relationship and how, you know, Drew and I have done really well. Even through treatment, I did so well. And when I was done, I'm sure, you know, like everybody, you think, oh, it's over. This is great. Everything's going back to normal, but it doesn't. And I hope that in a year from now, I could be posting saying, guys, I really, truly feel like emotionally I have it together, mentally I have it together, and I'm not losing it every day. There was a period of like three or four months where I was, which that is probably now has, has ended, like I've been good probably for a month now. So about a month ago, there was like a three or four month period where I, I could not, I cried every day. I was sad, I was angry, I couldn't like function and anything that I felt was heightened. So if I was angry, I was very angry. If I was sad, I was very sad. Um, and I'm not an angry person. I usually like let things roll off my back, you know, not a big deal, very calm. There's more important things in life, but I wasn't able to do that. And I'm working on it. I think I'm getting better. I'm certainly not crying every day at all. I mean, I would have been crying this entire video if it was a month ago. Um, but, you know, I think that there's just this will it ever go back to what it was before cancer? And I think the answer is no. And I don't think it will, but I don't think it has to be bad different. I think it can be good different. I think it just takes time. So I'm working on that. And I'll get there. And I'm going to share my journey because I think it's really, 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 really important to know that there's other people out there going through what you're going through. And I want to share some so... Oh, I'm so excited. So, Herceptin, HER2 positive breast cancer patients. If you're on Herceptin, there's new studies now that you no longer have to do it. So originally it was two years. Then they cut down saying you still get the same benefits for one year. Now, studies are showing that you can take it for six months and still have the benefits without the, without the effects on the heart which is amazing. So gosh, I'm like so hyped about that because originally I wasn't keen on traditional medicine, but that was like more chemo and radiation. When I heard about Herceptin, I was like, I'm for it. You know, it's specifically for her too, which is really the aggressive part of the cancer. Um, I had grade three, the highest grade. So Herceptin is saving our HER2 positive breast cancer patients lives so the fact now that they're figuring out that you can go from 12 months to six months is huge now i only have three treatments left so my doctor is like you're not you're not done you're finishing your, your three treatments and that's it you're not gonna you're not getting out of this one so i am doing my i have four left and i begged her to not make me do the fourth one right before my wedding so she agreed. So I only have three left. And my last one is beginning of August. So I'm super excited about that. Um, but yeah, there's just, ooh, there is better lighting. So you could see me at the end of the video. Um, so yeah, it's been difficult. Um, it's, there's no way to sugarcoat this. I said it from the beginning, this sucks. I'll say it again. June 16th was my one year anniversary since I was diagnosed. This still sucks. There's no way around it. Um, and it's about building yourself up in all aspects. Okay, no crying because I don't want to look like I cried. So physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, take care of yourselves. I am learning, I'm trying. I know I can't allow things to bother me as much as they have. We cannot live in a stressful environment, a stressful life. I today am saying pause. I am going to have a pause button. I have a thousand things going on, but I am inventing my own personal pause button out of life because I need it. 
I think my relationship needs it. I think that my family needs it. I think everyone needs a pause button right now. And if you're going through this, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to wait that long to have an update. I do uh, have a few people that requested a list of all the alternative medicine supplements that I'm taking. So I will get that out. And just thank you everyone who subscribes to my channel, who follows me, who emails me. Um, yeah, it feels good to know that I'm connecting with people. So thank you. And I hope you all are feeling well, doing well. If you are a family member, a family member of someone that's going through this, patience, patience and, sp and talk. Communication is huge. Talk about your feelings. The person who has cancer can handle it. It's better to tell them how you're feeling than to not. Um, for me, at least. I rather know what people are feeling than not. And just patience with yourself if you're going through this. That's my biggest thing. I wish you all the best. Bye.